A bracing sea breeze and a mug of grog that could knock out a horse. What could be better? Actually, how about a new update to the Sea of Thieves Technical Alpha? That's right, pirates. Ready your crews and hoist your shovels to unearth some priceless new features. Since we started the Sea of Thieves Technical Alpha, thousands upon thousands of players have been adventuring on the waves, scouring shipwrecks and cryptic clues, and rising above their rivals to lay claim to eye-popping loot. And voyagers in this fantastical world will find their stories influenced by the other players who share it with them. So these are some of your new tools for richer interaction with pirates whose lives converge with yours. Non-verbal communications. There are plenty of reasons why a pirate might stay silent, like a mouthful of stolen jewels or an intense outbreak of gingivitis. Whatever the reasoning of those who avoid voice chat, we're now offering a backup option in the form of good old fashioned text. You can choose from a chest full of contextual phrases to send to your crew. So whether you're stepping up to take the wheel or brainstorming clues in clammy caves, you can make sure your crewmates know what's what. The Brick The crews that make legends are those that bond and fight together, but sometimes you'll get a rogue who upsets the balance. Now, you might say that mutinous dogs are just part of the pirate life, but we believe in the pirate code. If you've got a serial troublemaker on your ship, you can now vote to banish them to the brig, where they'll stay until the remaining crew members decide they've served their time. And if you do end up in the brig yourself, you can still speak to your crew and try to justify your filthy misdeeds. Better make it convincing, you'll need a unanimous vote to get out. Scuttling there may be times in Sea of Thieves when your real-world rivals are proving too hard to shake off, or the odds that you're facing seem insurmountable. Should you feel that things have reached the point of no return, you and your crew can elect to sink your own ship, known as scuttling. As your beloved vessel sinks tragically into the sea's cold embrace, it's fine, you'll get over the guilt eventually, you can think about summoning the mermaid to try and salvage it in a safer location and get back to your voyage. The small ship. Helping to fulfill the piratical fantasies of those who would rather go it alone is the option of heading into open waters on a smaller ship. You'll still have to manage similar features to the large ship, but as this one was designed for a reduced crew, sailing is simplified with a wheel that needs fewer turns, a capstan that's easier to raise, and a sail that keeps the view ahead clear. With only two cannons on board, the small ship lacks the destructive force of the large ship, but makes up for it in agility. You'll be able to turn tighter circles at speed, letting you outmaneuver bulky rivals and give them a broadside where it hurts. If it doesn't work out, swing the prow around and run for it. Bravely, of course. These and other features are available to players now, with plenty more to come. The release notes are available in our forums, and if you want to get in on the action, Join our Insider program at www.seaofthieves.com forward slash insider for your chance to play before launch in early 2018. And now, time to go! I reckon once I've explained that I didn't mean to chuck all the treasure in the sea, they'll let me out of here. Surely.